And we straight away cutting across to breaking news coming in from Mumbai's Ghatkopar area where a chartered plane has crashed into an under construction building. Fire brigade and police teams have rushed to the spot and uh, we are given to understand this was a UP government aircraft VTUPZ King Air C90 and it has crashed near Sarvoday Nagar in Ghatkopar in Mumbai. More details are awaited as the situation is developing. Santhya Gora now joining us with more details. Uh, Santhya, what do we know so far? <laughs> We'll try and connect with Santhi in just a bit uh, as this as uh, this entire situation is developing. Those are the visuals that you can see on your television screens. That is the exact area, the location where this chartered plane crashed. We are still awaiting more details as to how many people were on board, what's the status of the casualties. But fire tenders have rushed to the spot and uh, they are trying to gauge the situation. This was an under construction building in Ghatkopar, that's the heart of Mumbai city where this plane crashed and we're still trying to get in more inputs here on what more details are emerging. This was a chartered plane, a UP government chartered plane that has crashed into an under construction building in Mumbai's Ghatkopar area. Fire tenders have been pressed into service and this was an under construction building uh, that uh, where this plane crashed. UP government aircraft VTUPZ King AC-90 is uh, what the make of the aircraft is. It has crashed near Sarvodaya Nagar in Ghatkopar in Mumbai. More details are awaited on the situation but as you can see fire tenders have been pressed into service uh, as they're trying to gauge the situation there. Santhya Gora now with us. Santhya, uh, fill us in with the details. We're talking about the number of people on board as of now, as far as the preliminary uh, information is concerned. There were one pilot plus three passengers uh, on the uh, on the board uh, talking about the situation on the spot. NDRF team has also uh, been moved to the spot. Mumbai police team is there. More teams of Mumbai police are, uh, more, more teams of Mumbai police are being sent. Apart from that, Mumbai's fire brigade is there. Fire brigade teams are there. The incident took place at around 1, uh, 1.13 uh, p.m. That was the time. As of now, uh, uh, the fire department along with uh, Mumbai police is trying to recover and trying to uh, uh, trying to remove the debris so that whoever there people who are uh, buried under the debris can be uh, can be taken out that's the uh, team that's the work going on at the spot as of now in the initial uh, information was that how the charter belonged to Uttar Pradesh government but as of now Uttar Pradesh government is uh, denying that the uh, charter plane belonged to them. Uh, uh, they are saying that it was a UY uh, charter plane and not UP charter plane. So that's that one clarity which is yet to come from the officials that who, uh, who exactly the plane, the charter belongs to. But as of now, the condition is concerned mm -hmm. uh, that uh, uh, and uh, the, the officials are also fearing that there are casualties concerned. Uh, 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 the, the officials are also feared that there are there are casualties considering the intensity of the crash because there were people on board and this was a crowded, uh, as we can see, that it, it's not an isolated place in Ghatkopar. So that's the reason that uh, officials are fearing casualties. But as of now, the confirmation of uh, uh, confirmation on number of people who died is yet to come. As of now, the rescue operation is going okay. on at the spot. All right, Santhya, uh, thanks for getting us those inputs. Keep getting us uh, updates there as uh, we are, uh, as we're getting the story that's unfolding uh, to our uh, viewers as more details are awaited. What Santhya is telling us that there were four people on board. This was a 12-seater plane. One pilot plus three passengers were on board this aircraft. Uh, NDRF team is there. Mumbai police team teams have reached the spot as well as fire tenders have been pressed into service. And we are joined in by Vipul Saxena, who is an aviation expert. Mr. Saxena, thanks for joining us here. Uh, this is a terrible tragedy that has unfolded in Mumbai there. Uh, what do you, uh, in, your, in your view, what could perhaps been uh, the reason, what we are given to understand? This was a small chartered plane, uh, VTUPZ, uh, King SC-90. In your view, what perhaps could be the reason behind this crash? Apparently, uh, it's quite premature stage to really speculate things. But uh, what I would suggest, what, what mm -hmm. I see from the pictures, 
uh, that probably uh, uh, there was a technical snag which uh, has caused this accident. And uh, pilot did try to uh, you know make a safer landing, and that's why I'm, I'm seeing that uh, the way this aircraft uh, you know crashed, it has not crashed into any building. So I I, I feel pilot did try to you know make a safer landing. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, whatever loss has happened, uh, it's sad. And uh, further detail we can uh, get to know only once initial report comes from uh, the authorities. Uh, then we can evaluate. All right. Hello? So you do believe there could be a, a problem while landing uh, where this uh, crash took place. There was an issue while landing, according to you, according to what you're given to understand of the situation, uh, which is why this plane crashed, Mr. Saxena? There must have been some technical snag, either with the engine or maybe some with the control uh, panel. That could have uh, made this uh, crash happen. All right. All right. Mr. Saxena, uh, thanks for joining in and getting us your views there uh, on the situation as it's unfolding. We are still awaiting more details uh, as, as we're showing you the visuals of uh, that site of crash where this chartered plane crashed. It was an under construction building. So far, what we know is that this was a 12 seater plane. It had four passengers on board. It had a pilot plus three passengers and uh, it ha this incident took place at about 1.13 p.m. is uh, what we have been uh, told. All efforts are now being made to remove the debris under which perhaps uh, uh, there could be people stuck. Uh, the rescue operations are underway and the RF team has reached, Mumbai police teams have reached the spot, fire tenders are also trying to do their job on location but there's still confusion prevails on who, where does this uh, to whom does this chartered plane belong because initially there were reports that this was a UP government chartered plane but they've denied all those claims saying that this chartered plane does not belong to the state government of Uttar Pradesh. Uh, we are still trying to get in more details on whether any casualties have been reported because uh, this is a terrible mishap that has taken place. Four people on board there, no reports on what their condition is at this point in time. Uh, we are still trying to get in more details as to uh, what the condition of the passengers is at this point in time. And uh, Santhya Gora is with us. She's getting us uh, continuous updates. Santhya, what more are you? Uh, what more updates are you getting now? See, unfortunately, one person has died in the incident, and he was the uh, he was one of the pedestrian who was there in the area. He died because of the fire, uh, because of the crash. Uh, that's the information which is coming in right now. Uh, though the uh, officials have told us that apart from this one pedestrian, they are also fearing that the people who were there on board, which includes pilot and three others, they are also feared to be dead. But let me tell you, that's the uh, that's the fear of the officials as of now, as far as the confirmed deaths are concerned. Pedestrian has uh, died. He succumbed to the uh, to the burns because of uh, because of the plane crash. As of now, talking about the who, to whom the plane belonged to, the plane was uh, was sold by the UP government to UY Aviation. That's the reason that initially when the pictures came, it uh, uh, it showed that how it was a UP government plane. But uh, uh, now the clarification is there that it was a UP government plane which was sold to UY Aviation. Uh, so as of now, as I said, uh, that uh, there were like a pilot plus three people on the board. But as of now, they are feared to be either seriously injured or dead. But that is that one thing on which the confirmation is yet to come from the authorities. Uh, but as of now, one person has died. He was a pedestrian who was passing by in that area. All right. All right. Unfortunate uh, bit of news there. One casualty been reported so far. He was a pedestrian. This was, remember, a uh, heart of Mumbai Ghat Kopar, uh, where this incident took place. Uh, we also have Charan Singh Sapra of the Congress Party joining us now on the phone line. Mr. Sapra, uh, your response to this incident? Yeah, it's a very sad uh, instance which has happened and shouldn't have happened at first place, I would like to say. But uh, it definitely needs an investigation that uh, whether the pilot uh, lost the ATC network or what happened to it. A detailed investigation should be done. And uh, this was a UP government flight, which was later sold on to a private company. And uh, whether the, there was a, this flight was fit to fly, this plane was fit to fly, that should also be investigated. 
and it's a very sad situation shouldn't have happened absolutely uh, mr uh, mr singh continue being with us what we are reporting to our viewers is that uh, one casualty has been reported so far this was a pedestrian uh, on whom we understand that this plane crashed due to which he uh, lost his life and one more clarification coming in here the plane is d does not belong to the state government of uttar pradesh it was sold to ui aviation uh, we continue uh, having mr charan singh sapra with us on the phone line mr sapra you said that uh, it's a matter of investigation and uh, one would get to know that in a, in the next few days on whether this plane was fit to fly but remember it was sold by the state government of uttar pradesh to ui aviation according to sources yeah. 2 years ago uh, in your in our understanding of course an aircraft's life span is much more uh, than 2 years perhaps so it had been sold in fit condition there uh, to ui aviation but as we are given to understand no clarity coming in uh, in your uh, in your view what do you believe uh, should have been done proper checks and balances should have been done perhaps by the state government when it was sold to uh, the avi aviation company yeah normally what normally what happens you know these planes when they have outlived their life they are being sold and probably the private companies they tend to buy such planes and then they endanger the life of the pilot as well as uh, the people who are flying in it so this needs a proper investigation and it's very sad you know a pedestrian has died and uh, i don't know inside also whether the pilot or the uh, other travelers are safe inside or whether they are injured or how is it uh, i hope uh, uh, the fire brigade and all the assistance ambulance and doctors teams have reached over there so let's hope for the best certainly mr sapra appreciate you joining us here on mirror now and uh, sharing your views uh, and as we're given to understand as the situation is developing and more details are trickling in one casualty has been reported this was a pedestrian so far we know this was a 12 seat plane four people on board one pilot plus three passengers on board uh, we still do not have any confirmation on what the what is the condition of these uh, passengers there uh, mumbai police uh, the ndrf team fire tenders all of these teams are at the spot trying to understand the situation uh and one more clarity coming in that this plane does not belong to the state government of uttar pradesh it was in fact sold by up government to uy aviation about 2 years ago this is source based information uh, that's what we are getting in and santhya gora is in fact getting us updates here on this situation we'll try to connect with her in just a bit to get more clarity and uh, that's breaking inputs coming in the casualty the death toll has increased in this mishap it has risen to 5 people now 5 people have lost their lives in this plane crash richa sharma now joining us with more details here on this development over to you richa the police mumbai police to us that there have been total 5 uh, uh, people who have lost their lives in this we have one pedestrian who was just passing by on this uh, on this area in this area where this incident occurred along with that there were three passengers and one pilot who was in fact uh, who was piloting this whole plane and at this point this is what the information we have received from the mumbai police further to that what caused the incident uh, that will only be revealed once the investigations are proceeded further at this point there are ndrf as well as fire brigade teams out there trying to in fact uh, uh, make the situation and try to find the bodies as well at the spot uh, in ghatkopar itself because let me tell you this was an under construction uh, this was an under construction building in ghatkopar where this in, where this whole incident took place absolutely it is a unfortunate bit of news there five people Uh, have died in this unfortunate mishap that has uh, taken place in Mumbai's Ghatkopar area. Uh, Richard, do we know more about the identity of who these passengers were? Of course, this is all preliminary information coming in. Uh, but how soon can we know the identity of who these uh, passengers were? Point: There is no identification of the passengers. In fact, uh, 
what we are getting from uh, the official uh, official figures is that this was a chartered aircraft of UI company which has crashed over the old Malik estate which is near the telephone exchange of Ghatkopar West. The capacity of this particular aircraft which was around 12 and the information that we have received from this is that this was a GVK uh, four, four people aircraft while there is uh, and at this point uh, the teams out there, agencies have been mobilized, including the police ambulance as well as the MBF team, uh, while search operations are all the bodies to be found. All right, Richa, continue giving us updates there. Let's quickly recap what we've been uh, told by Richa that uh, the death toll has now reached to five. One pedestrian, including all people who are on board the aircraft three passengers plus the pilot has uh, lost has lost his life here uh, this incident took place at about 1 13 pm in ghatkopar in mumbai uh, near the telephone exchange of ghatkopar west is uh, what we are being told at this point in time this was a 12 seater plane it had a pilot plus three passengers all of whom have lost their lives uh, in this tragic mishap that uh, took place this afternoon in Ghatkopar in Mumbai, all the uh, teams there, the NDRF team, Mumbai police teams, even the fire tenders are there at the spot. They are trying to uh, get the situation under control as uh, the fire continues to rage on there at the site of the crash. This is uh, a private plane. It was sold by the state government of UP to UI Aviation. Uh, we still do not have any clarity on the identification of these passengers. Uh, and the pilot there that would of course come in uh, in the next few hours as well uh, but this was an under construction site uh, where this crash took place and Santia Gora continues to give us updates she joins us now on the phone line uh, Santia what more are you picking up we're talking about the capacity of the uh, charge uh, the plane here it was the uh, plane with a capacity of 12 passengers but as of now there are four people reported on the board uh, one pilot plus three other uh, people uh, and uh, two charred bodies are already recovered from the uh, site by the fire department and NDRF team has moved there five deaths which included four people who were there on board and one uh, person who was a pedestrian that's the information coming in now NDRF team is, uh, is reaching the spot the Mumbai police teams are there the fire department team is there uh, they have there are three fire engines there's jump one jumbo tanker there are two fire hose line jets also there they are also trying to figure out, but that, because that's the information they are getting, they got a call at around 1.16 because the incident took place at around 1.13 p.m. That's the time when uh, this incident uh, uh, took place. Ghatkopar area, west, uh, Ghatkopar west near the telephone exchange, that's the location where this took place. This plane was, uh, initially the plane belonged to UP government, but a few years ago it was sold to UY Aviation. And this was basically a Juhu to Juhu charter plane. The route of this uh, plane, uh, of this charter was, uh, the route was from Juhu to Juhu, which means that the plane used to take off from Juhu and belong. Uh, and uh, depending on the assignment or depending on the work it had, uh, and uh, the, depending on other routes, it was always the first to report uh, uh, and land back in Juhu only. So that was the route of the plane, Juhu to Juhu. That was the route. And talking about the incident, as I said, it took place at 1.13. But what exactly caused this is something which is yet to be... Uh, it's too early to talk about, but the officials are saying that the, they are investigating in that direction also. As of now, they are just trying to figure out are there any more casualties because the debris are being removed. So that's the reason they are sure that there might be more people okay. uh, who, who can be there. All right. All right, Santhya. Thanks for getting us that update. So fears of more casualties being reported still exist as debris is still not cleared and uh, there could perhaps be uh, uh, some casualties buried under the debris as well because the focus here right now of the uh, agencies is to clear out the debris uh, and to clear out any uh, fears of further casualty there. We also are getting in updates here and uh, Mr. Vishwas Pathak of the BJP is with us on the phone line. Mr. Pathak, thanks for speaking to Mira now here. Uh, your response to the uh, tragic mishap that we are seeing this afternoon. Yeah, I believe when a charter flight crashed while landing at Jew Airport, 
Juhu Airport is a small airport, which is old airport, where normally all the charter flights and shuttles uh, takes, uh, lands in and takes off. So maybe by, due to bad weather or whatever, no, it is a matter of inquiry. But yes, it is crashed and there are some casualties also. All right, Mr. Pathak, thanks for joining in there. We also have Prabhat uh, Rangale joining us now uh, on the phone line. Mr. Prabhat, uh, if you could update us on what's happening there on the ground. Uh, the, 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 the plane, which is of a C-90 uh, type, it is a tail-seater plane. It is with uh, the uh, UY Aviation, and it was crashed on this uh, under construction uh, uh, under construction uh, building compound and uh, as on like you know we've got a first first hand information that there is a pilot and a three passenger those who are on board uh, uh, it, they were suspected out of that four bodies are already recovered from by four bodies are already recovered All right. Mr. Mr. Rangdale, has the fire been completely doused? Has it been contained? What are the challenges that are being faced by uh, the fire tenders there? Four, four male and one female. Five, five bodies recovered. Okay. Fire got rose off immediately. Because of the crash, there was the, okay. the onboard passenger, you know, they got uh, charred into because of the flame and all. Hello? All right, so what's the focus of the uh, t fire tenders uh, at this point in time? Are there fears of more casualties being buried under the d debris, uh, Mr. Rangdale? We have already a three fire engine on the spot, one jumbo tanker, two lines were in operation. Fire got totally dozed off immediately. And, the, and right now, I have information that there are five bodies got recovered. Out of that, there are four males, one female. And I, I don't know, I, we don't have an information okay. who, who, who was, only we know who were there on the board, that's all. All right, all right, Mr. Rangdale, thanks for joining in and getting us those updates there. Uh, Prabhat Rangdale, Chief Fire Officer, speaking to Mira now there, uh, confirming to us that uh, five... Uh, bodies have been recovered from the uh, site of the crash and the focus right now is also to clear out the debris there. Remember this incident took place at about 1.13 p.m. Five, the death toll in this case has now reached five. Uh, pilot and three passengers have been killed. All the four people on board the aircraft have lost their life including one pedestrian. We have some more breaking news coming in. The chartered plane which has uh, crashed, it uh, does not belong to UP government and uh, confirmation coming in here uh, by the Principal Secretary Information of UP and he said that the state government had sold this aircraft to UY Aviation. The deal was done after the plane had met with an accident in Allahabad. Crucial information coming in, uh, UP government official, principal secretary uh, information of Nish Avasti saying that this was uh, not a UP government plane, it had been sold off to Mumbai's UY Aviation. It was The deal was done after this aircraft had met with an accident in Allahabad. So this is not the first time that this aircraft had met with an accident. Uh, an ac it, this aircraft was involved in another accident in Allahabad as well. Uh, and this is a statement coming in by a UP government official. They're, they're denying the, uh, that the, this uh, aircraft belonged to UP government. They said that it was sold off to Mumbai's UY Aviation after a deal was done uh, after the plane had met with an accident in Allahabad. Remember, there was initial confusion that whether or not this uh, aircraft belonged to UP government or not. Uh, soon after that, uh, uh, it was established that it was sold off to UY Aviation about three to four years ago. Uh, but it was a UP government aircraft initially. Uh, at the moment, it does not belong to UP government. Avnish Avasthi, uh, the principal secretary uh, of UP, telling Mira now that uh, this, the aircraft had been sold off to UY Aviation after the plane had met with an accident in Allahabad. 
Himanshi now joining us on the phone line. Uh, Himanshi, so crucial information here. Uh, what we are given to understand that uh, this plane had met with an accident in Allahabad a few years ago as well. Well, absolutely. Now, what we have the confirmation uh, from the DGCA statement also they have put out, which clearly states that uh, UY Aviation Private Limited uh, King Air C90 uh, aircraft. You know that that has met with an accident at at Mumbai today. Uh, has uh, earlier also had a history, uh, uh, and we also know that the operator bought this aircraft from the UP government. Now the aircraft uh, took off from Juhu Airport uh, for a test flight. What this is what uh, DJCA is clearly stating at this point of time. Uh, there were two pilots and uh, two uh, AMEs on the board, and all uh, on the uh, board uh, uh, aircraft along with one person on the ground are uh, you know uh, dead right now. That is what they are confirming. to us the accident site is currently guard copper in mumbai the djca team uh, is on the way for the preliminary investigation what we are given to understand also uh, the fire department is currently doing their job the fire is currently doused um, at, uh, that is what we know right now uh, so uh, this particular type c90 plane which had the capacity of 12 passenger now the the four was uh, were on board that time and now uh, already five bodies uh, have been recovered and uh, f- uh, there are casualties of five people right now that's what we are given to understand back to you All right uh, Himanshi thanks for getting us that update so uh, the DGCA team on their way f- uh, to the site of crash for preliminary investigation is what we are given to understand this was a test flight that the aircraft uh, had taken from Juhu airport and there were two pilots and two AMEs on board and all uh, people on board uh, of course have lost their lives uh, uh, this is a tragic mishap Uh, that has taken place in Mumbai's Ghat Kopar area, and we continue to uh, cover the story for you. At this point in time, a quick break. We'll be right back.